So you have a super cheap off-peak tariff and you're busy running everything you possibly can during these hours. But have you ever wondered whether your house views can actually cope or might it go pop? And with even more of us adding high power electrical items such as electric vehicle chargers, hot water tank immersions, battery storage and heat pumps to the existing stuff like electric showers, ovens and induction hobs, is this something we need to look into? Well, in this video I'm going to show you why you should seriously consider upgrading your fuse. Off-peak tariffs offer cheaper electricity for a small number of hours, typically overnight and are becoming an increasingly popular way of reducing people's energy bills. We consume over 98% of our electricity in the off-peak period, averaging around 7p per kilo hour with Eon's Next Drive tariff. I'll leave this video in the end screen if you want to find out more about it. But have you ever thought about whether your home's electrics can actually cope and what happens if it can't? A domestic electrical fuse acts as a safety device in your household electrical circuit and is designed to break the circuit if too much current flows through it. This prevents potential damage to appliances and wiring by essentially blowing when overloaded, effectively cutting off the power supply in case of a fault. Who owns what though? The UK Power Network owns the electrical fuse and the cables that bring electricity into your home and are responsible for maintaining this equipment. The electric cable entering your property is connected to the electrical fuse. The fuse ensures the right amount of power flows safely into your home. The fuse carrier holds your main electrical fuse and may have an outer case for protection. This is the only part of the internal equipment that they maintain and can work on. Your electricity meter is owned by your electricity supplier. They are the company that you pay your electricity bills to, so Oxmas Energy, Eon, British Gas, to name a few. The fuse box inside your property, sometimes known as a consumer unit, is owned by you. You can see we had a 60 amp fuse in our 25 year old house. But what does that mean exactly in terms of how much power you can use without causing a problem? The formula to calculate power, watts, is current, amps, multiplied by voltage, volts. With this equation, we can now work out the theoretical max power we can consume with a 60 amp fuse. So 60 amps times 230 volts equals 13,800 watts or 13.8 kilowatts. You can see now that using my 3.6 kilowatt car charger, two 3 kilowatt hot water tank immersions, and three kilowatt battery inverter would add up to 12.6 kilowatt taking me very close to that 3.8 kilowatt figure we calculated. Adding in just one of our two 9 kilowatt electric showers when we wake up before our off-peak period rate ends would take us up and over that figure. However, the draw from these electrical items isn't constant, but rather cyclical, meaning it's unlikely to pull its max power at any one time, with us likely to get a faster charging point, heat pump or even larger battery inverter in the future our power use in this off-peak period is likely to increase further. As a result, I was keen to upgrade our fuse and avoid running into any problems or delays later on. Our local network operator in the northeast of England is Northern Power Grid. I applied via their online form to change the capacity of our existing connection and was contacted by them with further information. Northern Power Grid advised me that they no longer offer 100 amp fuses in domestic and commercial properties and would an 80 amp, 18 kilovolt amperes connection be sufficient? The 80 amp fuse can permit the flow of 100 amps of electricity for at least four hours, due to the cyclic nature of most loads during a 24 hour period. Therefore, allowing the 80 amp fuse to supply a 100 amp load. The 80 amp fuse upgrade is free of charge. If I wanted to go down the route of a sustained 100 amp, 23 kilovolt amperes connection, I would have had to get a quote for the three phase supply and with it, the considerable expense. This fuse upgrade would allow us to power a cyclical load of 23 kilovolts for at least four hours, which should more than meet our current and future needs, installing further green technologies, which I'm hoping to explore. Northern Power Grid offered me a morning or afternoon slot with a number of dates to choose from. A couple of engineers arrived and took around 30 minutes to replace the fuse and fuse holder. During this time, my power was temporarily turned off and went back on without any hiccups. If you're interested in getting your fuse changed and your network operator's Northern Power Grid, I've dropped a link that you need to the online application form in the video description box below. If you're with a different network operator, they should have a similar process for you to follow on their website or just give them a call. I hope you found that useful and if you've got an electric car, solar panels and or a battery, you'll definitely want to check out this video over here 
to find out which energy provider could give you the highest annual savings. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.